What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Dan Doyle commentary. We've got Soundboy. Hashtag Soundboy. Huh. I guess it's just Soundboy. First is that angry baboon. Um, let's see. 1778, 1758. Um, it looks like Soundboy opened up with a typical prophecy setup. Um, he played Blue Boy. I'm sure he played Secret, then Master. Uh, Master copied Secret, and then. I think that Master using Secret's uh, effect got himself a copy of Spellbook Tower or Fate. Yeah, well, I think he has Fate too, but I, I know that he has Spellbook Tower on board because we see it here. He might have Fate, he might have something else set. Um, who knows at this point? Okay, so he does have Fate. Looks like he's going to put something in face down defense position. Probably his Blue Boy. That's what he does. And you know, I felt like. I should record this duel not really because I enjoy watching Prophecy play, but I guess more or less to give you guys variety. Like, I haven't had a ton of Prophecy on my channel, so, you know, I get a chance to get Prophecy. Dude's got a good rating. He's playing against um, this guy, That Angry Baboon, who I've smashed like four times. But he has a high rating, too, even though I don't think he's that good. Alright, so anyways, um, he put Blue Boy face down. That got himself a copy of Secrets. And I don't think he really cares even if he would have gotten, uh, what was that, Master? Because he's going to get another draw anyway. So it's like he's getting a free draw from Spellbook Tower. Then he's going to draw a card. You know what I mean? I don't think that he's that concerned. If the guy has like any good Spellbook cards he can just copy it now it looks like baboon does have the MST for the tower which is good because tower is one of those cards that you kind of have to immediately counter the thing about tower is what makes it so good is it's like it's never gonna be a neg one ever like it's always gonna be a one for one but it can turn into a, you know in a lot of games it can turn into like a plus four I would say by by the time it hits about plus three the game is well over but you see that he still has, Soundboy still has six cards, so he's still in good shape. Um, he really just has to watch out for the Angeli that uh, Magellan searched. I don't even think I was paying attention. I'm 90% cer uh, certain that he searched an Angeli. So Soundboy is going to flip over a Reckless Greed. Why not? You know what I mean? Just go ahead and burn it. I believe he has, what, six in hand still. Okay, don't be surprised if he plays another Reckless Greed. I think really all he's trying to do is he's trying to get to a defensive card and tower. I mean, I, that, I think those are his only objectives for this turn. Get to a decent defensive card, get the tower. So he summons Justice, which Justice is a really good card in this situation because not only can Justice attack Magellan, but it can also, you know, he can just trigger it and get himself another spell book plus get a uh, high priestess so it's like win-win you know what I mean <clears throat> now I wouldn't think that baboon would want to use something like a fiendish chain on her um, okay so he plays that secrets now again that gives him access to oh he's going spell book power ah no I'm not so certain about that now he might burn that fiendish chain although you do tribute her right Okay, so now he's using Eternity to get Master. Master's going to copy something. He might go for a home run here, and he might copy Power. So, thus, you know, he, he'd go up, what, 2,000? It'd be 2,600, and he'd get two effects from Power? <clears throat> okay, so he is going to use Master. He reveals Power. I guess he's going to copy Secrets so that he can get the um, Tower, like, just in case. I don't want to read Power. Oh, no, he gets Wisdom. Oh, never mind. I want to read this chick. During the end phase, you can banish this card. I believe that's a cost. All right, so he plays Spellbook of Power. So she's at 26. Sorry, if you copied Power twice, it would have been 36. I'm watching. All right, so Baboon eats 1,200. And now uh, Tower is going to trigger. I'd imagine, well, he's not going to have a field. So I don't know how good Fate is here. He gets Secrets, which... Didn't he already play this turn? He played Secrets, and then he copied it with uh, with Master, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so it looks like he's going to set some defensive cards. He plays Tower. Hmm. I don't know about that. 
you better have an answer to um you had better have an answer to uh to Angeli because uh if Angeli goes off, your opponent will be able to get a chateau to just play it over that. Alright, so you see that he gets uh high priestess and then he gets a master with uh the effect. I think that this oh Baboon played a Magellan. Okay. I thought that this was gonna be the determining Maybe he didn't search Angeli on the first Magellan. Maybe he searched another Magellan. I feel like this right here is going to be the defining turn. I feel like if Soundboy can get through this turn, I feel like he's going to win. Unless, like, this one gets MST too. Now, he's on Reckless Greed, so he's like, you know, cards on credit. But it doesn't really matter because, you know, Spellbook Tower has him covered. So he's, he still gets his draw. <clears throat> I'm actually seeing a lot of people start playing uh, Prophecy right now. I've always thought it's a good deck. It's just, it's really slow. You know what I mean? Like, once it gets rolling, it's damn near impossible to beat. Um, it has a fantastic matchup against Bujins. All their cards don't do shit. You know, Crane, Turtle, Hair, they don't do anything against Spellbook of Fate. That card just says, nope, we, we just wreck you. Alright, so he tries to summon um, High Priestess, and Baboon uses Warning, which, if I'm Soundboy, I, I think that's a huge win for me. Because now I can just summon my blue boy and you can't warning it. So I feel really, really good. Oh, never mind. He just, wait. <laughs> Did he not? I guess he didn't realize he could just search it with life. But wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's right. You can tribute summon for her. That's just her, part of her effect. That was for, for some reason I was thinking, well, you probably special summon, but it doesn't really matter because, yeah. That was, that was bad a baboon. Maybe I didn't catch that, but it's not my job to catch that. I'm commentating. It's not my job to think about every single little intricacy, although that would make me a better commentator. Um, we we already knew that Soundboy had, um, that he had secrets in hand. So, I guess if you warning High Priestess, what was stopping him from essentially searching out secrets with, or searching out life with, you know, secrets? And then just resummoning the High Priestess. The only difference now is... You know, you ate 2,000 life points. I guess technically you still got a one for one. And you could argue that if High Priestess hit the board, she could have just blown up warning for a plus one. So, you know, push comes and stuff. It's just, I, I got a bad taste in my mouth with that. You know what I mean? Like, you, yeah, you, you effectively warninged it, but you kind of knew that it was going to get back on board anyway. So, I don't know. It just, maybe it was one of those things where it was like inevitable. I mean, if you don't have the right cards against. High Priestess, she's going to fuck your shit up. And... Okay, so she gets hit with Nightmare. Although he plays the uh, Wisdom. The Wisdom that he searched last turn that he didn't use, so... Hmm, that doesn't do anything. And... Yeah, I think that Soundboy is going to cruise. I, I, I think that this is game one. I can't actually confirm that. I think that Soundboy is going to cruise because... Um, at this point, he can copy, what, secrets, um, if he doesn't have fate already, he can just copy fate, um, oh, never mind, yeah, actually, you could copy power, do more damage, and then get fate anyway, so, yeah, I guess, I guess that makes more sense than just copying fate, you just copy power, you boost this bitch up to 3,500, um, you run over Magellan's little ass, then you get fate, and then you just win, because, on the off chance that your opponent does have, I mean, I guess it's just the off chance your opponent has MST, but if you have any other defensive cards, you just win. So, you see him set, uh, well, he sets two, we believe one is, oh, never mind, three. You believe one at least is fate. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that one is reckless greed also. Okay, so that was game two. So, obviously, Baboon took game one. Now, the problem with Prophecy against a deck like Madoche is... Prophecy aren't really known for their hand traps. In fact, they're not really known for their traps at all. It's kind of one of the deficiencies of the deck. Um, Prophecy is, oddly enough, one of those decks that can kind of play anything in trap form. I mean, I feel like there isn't anything that doesn't really mesh with the deck. Like, from Torrential, they're kind of like on that Mermill tier where you expect... You, you, I don't know what you expect out of their back row. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen ones that play Bottomless and Warning, and I've seen, uh, not so much Torrential, I've seen, um, I've seen Mirror Force a lot, and I'm like, okay, all those cards work, 
Reckless Greed, I think, would be the one staple, but, I mean, everything else is like, I guess it's just gravy. I mean, Spellbook of Fate is such a good card, and you use that, and the deck doesn't really play defense that well. For the most part, it just uses, you know, like, Fate as the all-in defense card. I mean, sometimes I see the deck play Phoenix with Wimblast because um, a, a lot of points during the duel, you have so many cards to discard, and if you play Stodic, then, you know, that just, it pays for itself by searching out. Stodic searches what like a spellbook card or something i don't know i know that when he i know that when um i know with stodic uh when he hits the graveyard he searches out something i know that i'm just gonna guess that it's a spellbook card but i know that that motherfucker triggers when he hits the graveyard so all right we saw blue boy hit deck um he went secrets and then master to copy secrets so that got him a tower and he plays tower any sets. I don't even think he's going to attack. This is one of the good things about Prophecy as opposed to other decks that play field spells. Um, the hands don't really bother Prophecies that much because a lot of times, especially in the early going, they just have this motherfucker on board. They just have Blue Boy. You know what I mean? So it's not really that big of a deal for them to have Blue Boy get run over because they don't really care about him. I mean, chances are they can get him back next turn. This card's giving them all the pluses. Um, they can flip him face down with Fate. Obviously, they'd just be able to banish your monster, too. Um, I fully expect him to use Fate and target Blue Boy and put him face down and search more cards, putting Fate back in the deck for Tower, if that's where it leads to. I mean, if he doesn't have Fate, then obviously things change a little bit. Alright, so we see a Book of Moon on Blue Boy. Uh, Blue Boy is going to be flipped. And huh, the one time that Prophecy didn't open up with uh, a Fate. And that gets Secrets. Which, I mean, Secrets and Master are like peanut butter and jelly. So whenever you see Secrets, expect to see a Master fairly certain or fairly soon afterwards. So he gets his draw. He took a Neg, but, you know, Tower is like going to pay for that. So as long as he gets his Tower, um, as long as he gets his Tower, I think that he's in good shape. If he doesn't get his tower, he's in very bad shape. And, oh, he got mm, got that MST again. Now, both players are actually sitting on... Both players are sitting on... um, What's it called? Both players are sitting on six cards. I'd say the difference here is... The difference here is that, that Boone has a floating card. Um... He has Ticket, which essentially turns all his guys into floaters. Now, I thought that I thought that Sound Boy would try and go uh, for Tower again. Um, because it's like, how many MSTs is your opponent really going to have? You know what I mean? I think he just wants one good turn out of Tower before he goes on the offensive. Now, Baboon, I believe that this is a hand monster. Either way, if it's not, I, I still believe that this is a level 4. I mean, there's a chance that this is some like Bluff Madoche, but it's probably still a level 4 guy. Um, the question is, do you see here? I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if you really believe that these are all, you know, legitimate traps and shit like that. Although, again, Prophecy can play pretty much any trap, so, you know, I wouldn't put it past them. But, I think your major concern is getting this off board. Now, if you can see and still go into... And XC that triggers this, obviously, you know, Queen Terra Masu is that XC. That's great. However, I'm not sold that this is, I'm not really sold that this is a Madoche monster. And if I'm not mistaken, Queen Terra Masu requires two Madoches. Otherwise, I'd be making that bitch in Bujins. So, I mean, obviously, Terra Masu would be the nuts here. You could send that back, get rid of it for good, target a, ba a back row, which probably one of Well, never mind, it doesn't, it, it targets that resolution, so... Yeah, your opponent wouldn't be able to do anything. <clears throat> now, you see that he's just going to attack. And... Samboa. <laughs> I just, I just feel, I just feel weird saying that. Samboa. Samboa is, um... He's thinking here. Okay, so he's going to use his fate. I think this is going to get banished. I don't think... Well, I, I think he has... I think, well, he has one Book of Moon. I think he's going to go for three. One, two. Okay, never mind. He just goes for two. It gets flipped face up. 
It's gonna get Eternity. Why not? Because he just banished he just banished um spellbook of secrets anyway. Plus Eternity adds a, a spellbook back into his graveyard, so you know, why not? It's not like it's not like Blue Boy is really gonna do anything uh, on board anyways. Again, I don't think that Soundboy is going to Okay, we see a trap stun. Huh. Maybe he is gonna go for Tiramisu. Okay, so that's a fire hand, which I thought it was a fire hand. I don't know why he wasn't attacking with it the whole time. It seems like you just would have did more damage. Like, I mean, you expected Spellboy, you know, you expected Blue Boy to keep getting put face down, but you could have attacked for like 3,200 more if you just would have flipped it. I mean, to me, it seemed it seemed fairly obvious that that was what the card was. All right, so it looks like he's going to go exit on night and try and torch the field. Now, I'm a little shocked that Soundboy didn't do anything. Okay. Ouch. Ouches. Like Ness would say. Ouches. Alright, so anyways, Tower, Grand Tower is going to trigger. For him to have all reactive cards like that, it's kind of a shocker. He got just, or excuse me, Temperance. Oh, Lord. If he resolves that Temperance, this game is over. Oh, okay. But... Baboon goes for, um, looks like he goes for the hoot cake. Don't be surprised if he doesn't pull out Messenger Lotto. And if he goes, okay, never mind, he goes for Messenger Lotto and Ticket. Um, the reason that I said I would be, I thought maybe he'd go for a level 3 is because maybe there was a level 3 that dealt with this card. I guess not. I just feel like, I feel like if you resolve Temperance, then you get World. And once you get World, you just win. Like, World comes out, it adds two spell books from your hand to your deck, or excuse me, from your graveyard to your hand, so the motherfucker's a plus two on summon, and then you torch the field, so it's like, it's like JD on crack, you know what I mean? Like, the card is too good, and we already know that he has, uh, what is it, he got Eternity in his hand, so, you know. Ouch. It looks like he drew world. Why isn't he why doesn't he play more than one world? Like most versions that I've seen well I mean I thought I would think that uh, granted world's not a card that you want to draw like ever, but why not why wouldn't you run two considering temperance in the world auto wins you the game, like ninety percent of the time. Unless your opponent breakthrough skills or or warns it or what else we got? Uh Phoenix chains it. Which two of those can be stopped with wisdom, which is totally a searchable card. I, I just feel like the card wins you the duel. Alright, so Soundboy activates Eternity to get himself secrets, which is probably gonna get a master. Okay, so he is gonna tribute. Uh he's good he's uh, hit with solemn warning. Huh, he was gonna go in uh, high priestess. I guess High Priestess should be in deck. Yeah. <laughs> I guess if I'm if I'm Baboon, I want you to potentially draw High Priestess. Because that would be an awful draw. I still think... Well, so it didn't really matter if... Um, I guess it really didn't matter if uh, Soundboy had another world anyways. Granted, I'm, I'm sure he'd rather have one of his Spellbook cards instead of a world right now. And this looks like a duel where, huh, it looks like, man, it looks like uh, Baboon is in full control here. Uh, I say that mainly because of Ticket, although, does he have any other monsters in his graveyard? I'm not so certain that he does. I mean, some boy just lost everything on that damn nuke. I mean, I'm not even concerned about the Torrential and the, um... The Fiendish Chain, the fact that he lost the Wisdom as well, like that Wisdom could come in handy. So at this point, Baboon says, I'm going in. Um, that's going to clear about, what, 5,000-ish? Uh, okay, exactly 5,000. And Baboon sets one. And Prophecy is not that good unless it has Search and Draw Power. And... In this match, uh, Grand Tower has been completely kept in check. Uh, even when Grand Tower triggered and he was able to get Temperance, 
that still didn't help him because that got warnings. So, I mean, Sonboy has gotten pretty much everything he wanted, and he still is not winning. That's a very bad sign. It's a, it's a bad sign when you get when you get what you want out of your cards and you still aren't winning. You're still losing. He plays secrets. And what is that gonna do? That gets him Blue Boy, which gets him Master. Then he plays the library. Oh, never mind. Okay, so he MSTs Fiendish Chain, which sucks for him because I think he wanted to MST the ticket. Yep, that's it. Thank you guys for watching as always.